Welcome to your hour of revival here on YOC TV. We are so excited that you are here with us once again, just like every Saturday here at the same time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Join us right now. I want you to click like, comment, let us know where you're watching us from, and also click that share button because there's a special word from the Lord for you tonight. We're so excited that you're here once again with us. And tonight's message is something that I am excited to preach about. We're going to preach about the name of Jesus tonight. I don't know if you believe it, but there is still power in the name of Jesus. Uh huh. That name is still above every other name. That name is above still over sickness, uh, over cancer, and yes, over COVID-19. That name is, abo- is, a- is, a- is over every strand of COVID. It's over every flu symptoms. It's over everything that's going on in your life. The name of Jesus Christ has power and is still operating. And in the name of Jesus, this is your hour of revival. This is your hour of breakthrough. So if you shared already, you commented, you click liked. I want you before to go before we go into this word. I want you to lift up your hands where you are and say thank you. Thank you Jesus for your powerful name. Thank you Lord because your name has power. Your name is still delivering. Your name is still causing an awakening. Your name is still refreshing. Your name is still causing a deliverance. It's still causing healing. It's still calling freedom and it's still causing a deliverance in the name of Jesus God we pray before we get into this word we pray in the name of Jesus over every sickness over every infirmity over every disease and declare that there is power for healing on tonight there is power for deliverance on tonight there is power for revival on tonight in the name of Jesus Christ we declare it it is so it is so It is so, it is so in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. But there's also power in your blood, Jesus. There's also power in your name, Jesus. There's power in the anointing. That anointing that breaks the yoke. That anointing that breaks the bondages. The anointing that breaks the chains. In the name of Jesus Christ, you that are watching from home, declare the name of Jesus over everything that's going on in your life. Declare the name of Jesus over every trial, every tribulation, over everything that's going on, declare it, it shall be done. It's in the name of Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what principalities are going against you. I don't care what spirits are going against you. I don't care what demons are you're up against. Oh, oh, but the gates of hell shall not prevail against his church, says the word. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you tonight. The gates of the enemy, the gates of those demons that are trying to overcome you, they shall not prevail because no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And everyone that comes against you one way has to leave seven ways. It's in the name of Jesus. Take this moment. Take this moment. Take this moment right now and declare it. Declare it that I have the victory. In the name of Rebekah. I have the victory. In the name of Jesus. I have my power. In the name of Jesus. Our scripture, our scripture, keep going, Carlos. Our scripture in Isaiah 9, verse 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. His name shall be called Counselor. His name shall be called the Mighty God. Yes, God. The Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. Matthew 1. Chapter 1 verse 21 says And she shall bring forth a son And thou shalt call his name Jesus For he shall save his people from their sins Now all this was done That it might be fulfilled Which was spoken from the Lord by the prophet saying Behold a virgin shall be with 
as a child shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us then Joseph being raised from his sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him took unto him and his wife and knew her not till she had brought forth his, her firstborn son and he called name Jesus that's the powerful name that's the name above every name and if you can do so right now write it in the comment section don't don't write don't write Jehovah Jireh don't don't write Jehovah Shalom oh, just write Jesus let through the comment section not just through your mouth but also through the comment section the devil can know that there is still power in the name of Jesus that you have authority in the name of Jesus that you are victorious through the name Jesus Monday Oshana Mahoshata Kanda each Kanda Mahoshaya Mahosha it's the name of Jesus 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 oh and I'm about to talk I'm about to tell you the title of today's message the title of today's message is what's in that name uh-huh write it in the comment section right now if you can if you're not if you're out of the glory cloud if you can do so right there in the comment section what is in that name because I'm about to tell you if you don't know about it I'm about to tell you and if you forgot about it I'm about to remind you but let me tell you this if I said it before I'm going to say it again and I'm going to say it after this live there is power Uh there is power in the name of Jesus 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 I don't want to take too much of your time but if you can just stay there where you're watching because what's in that name is purpose speaks of his desire the name of Jesus reveals a God with a desire to save sinners We are told that Jesus came to the world not to condemn the lost, but to save them. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that for those that believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. This was not something new. This was not something that was just planned. This was straight from the heart of God. This name has purpose, has a desire for salvation towards humanity, but also has deliverance. The name Jesus reminds us that he came into this world for the sole purpose of setting the captives free. He came for the redemption of the lost. He came to deliver those that needed deliverance. He came to those that needed life in the midst of a deathly situation. The name of Jesus reminds us of the fact that he came into this world to die for our sins. And the only way this problem of sin could have been dealt with was of the shedding of his blood on the cross of Calvary. Jesus came not only to die for us, not only to be nailed on a cross, nails in his hands, nails in his feet, but also through his death on the cross to set us free from sin. He came to set us free, church. He came to set us free. And because he came to set us free, we can say we are saved. His name 
has power. His name contains miracle. Miracles, supernatural miracles, extraordinary wonders. It's safe to say that this same Jesus is a miracle worker. That this same Jesus is a healer. That this same Jesus is a deliverer. I can hear the voice of G.E. Patterson, Bishop G.E. Patterson saying, Be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Those three things are possible through one name. The powerful name of Jesus. The powerful name of our Lord and Savior. He is the sovereign one. He is our hero. He is the strong, mighty, and invincible God. He alone is worthy to be praised and to be glorified. He alone is worthy of our worship and our praise. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus is our deliverer. But let's go back to the first verse that we read on tonight. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name, watch this now, his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor. Not just Mighty God, but the verse says, The Mighty God. The Everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father, Mighty God, Counselor, Wonderful. Those are his names. But thank God we don't need to go to a school and learn all of these titles. Thank God we don't need to go and learn all of the names, the the Hebrew names that are in the Bible. That we can just say one name. That we can just say, in the name of Jesus. We're living in a time where our faith is being tested. Where this whole situation with this pandemic has shaken us like never before. Yes, we are still in a pandemic. We are still in a moment of crisis, not just in our nation, but in our world. But as the church of the living God, we cannot be caught up in the fear that's in the world today. We must remind the world That even though COVID is going around and and there's still other sicknesses around in the world. And that they're going through trials and tribulation aside from COVID. That the name of Jesus still has power. I don't know if you believe it or not. But I'm a firm believer that that name is the same Yesterday, today, and forevermore, just like Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Want to know why? Because the name of Jesus is associated with a person. So therefore, if a person as Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, that means that the power that is in his name continues on just like him. We can declare in the name of Jesus our victory, our healing, our deliverance, our victory, our success. 
It's in the name of Jesus where we can be saved. And a lot of people get tired about it. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. A lot of people don't even want to mention it anymore. A lot of people have forgotten about it. But I am a lover of the name of Jesus. Not just another child has been born in the world. Another person added to the billions or to the millions in that time that were living. But God in human flesh. Not a normal birth, but a virgin birth. Which produced a child without a sin nature. Why would God enter this world? Well, it goes back to the verse that we recited in John 3.16. Because God loved the world so much, he was willing to give his only son. And since we believe in him, we would not perish but have everlasting life. He came and he battled with Satan and sin. He came to battle against every spiritual being that wanted to distract him. One spiritual being can be when Jesus had that encounter with the devil on the mountain. And what I love about that encounter, those three encounters, if the last one was, if you kneel before me, if you kneel before me, I'll give you all of the kingdom. I'll give you everything. And Jesus told him straight up, there's only one God. I don't need your kingdoms. I don't need, I don't need what you got because I already know I am the king. And if you believe it, I want you to say it in the comment section. Jesus is king. And because he is king and we are the children of God, that power that's in his name is also in us. That power, that deliverance, healing, freedom, that's in that name, abides in us. That word, that name, still has power. The name of Jesus is the source of our salvation. His name is the hope of our hearts. His name can break the sins, bondages, and chains to have us bound. His name can lift the greatest burdens. His name can comfort the brokenhearted. His name is a name that by itself speaks salvation, freedom, and healing. And it secures us, it guarantees us everlasting life. But here's the thing. My question unto you is, we know that the power has name, the name has power. But my question unto you is, do you know the person behind the name? Do you know the person that is behind that particular name? Have you had an experience with the person that has that name? If you had an experience with Jesus, you'll know that it's such a great experience. And one experience that's so awesome and great is when we come to Jesus. When we feel that peace. When we feel his presence. We experience him when we go into our prayer room. When we go into his presence, we can feel him. We can experience him. 
That's the person I serve. That's the Jesus I serve. And let me tell something to my non-believer friends. The name of Jesus is the only name where you can be saved and go to heaven. The name of Jesus is the only name which you can be saved. Oh, you can serve Muhammad. You can serve Allah, but Allah did not have a son. You can serve, oh, Buddha. You can serve all of these religions and all these. But this is not a religion. This is about a relationship with someone who died for me. Muhammad didn't die for me. Buddha didn't die for me. Allah is not even true what they say because Allah didn't even have a son but my God has a son named Jesus where I can say he died for me but not only did he die but he resurrected on the third day and said all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth and because he resurrected oh because he resurrected we have that same power we have that same authority we say we have that same dominion here on earth All of them died, but the difference with Jesus is that he resurrected. All of them did what they did for their respected beliefs and religion. However, Jesus saved the world in one day. My friends, my brother, my sister, do you know Jesus? Do you know my Savior? Do you know Jesus? Because if you don't, this is probably your night to come to Jesus. This is probably your night. If you want to make this, the decision to come to him, this is your night. But my family... Serves this. My family does this. My family. Witchcraft is in my family. All that. The name of Jesus is over every single thing on earth. It doesn't matter who your family serves. It's about who you serve. And I'm getting ready to close. But that name also not just only reveals purpose and power, dominion and authority. Not only are those things in that name, but in that name, there is also love. Love that has to be transmitted through us to this world. Love that has to be shown to everyone that is around us. The Prince of Peace, the Mighty God, Wonderful Counselor, the everlasting father. These are his names. These are the names that are within the name of Jesus. And I'm so glad to be a believer of that name. I'm so glad to be a believer of that powerful name. I'm blessed. And I know for those that serve our Jesus, you are blessed as well. Let me remind you, those that believe in him and serve him along with me. We have to serve him. But also, while we're serving him in this kingdom, we also have to show his love in this world. We also have to show his love during this pandemic. Preach to those that are on the path. Of being lost. If you want to accept Jesus, this is your night. If you want to come to him, this is your night. If you want to be saved, if you want to be delivered, if you want to be set free, this is your night. This is your night tonight. Let us know in the comment section. If you want to accept Jesus, on the bottom of your screen, you can contact us and put your prayer requests. We're going to pray for you right now. If you want to accept Jesus, repeat this after me. Father, I come before you recognizing that I have sinned, 
asking you to forgive me. Wash me in the precious blood of Jesus. Forgive all of my sins. And wrap me in your arms of love. Help me live for you. Deliver me from bondage. Deliver me from all these chains. Deliver me from generational curses. So I can serve you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over every viewer. We pray over everyone that's watching right now. And we declare, Lord God, that those believers that need healing, those that believe in you that need a deliverance from generational curses, from diseases, from infirmity, from sickness, from oh, from anything that they're going through. God, we know that you are the God of the impossible. God, we know that in the name of Jesus we can declare these things which we are asking you for. God, we ask you to work a miracle, to work signs and wonders in the favor of your children. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. And I hope this word was a blessing to you. Connect with us, follow us, and join us next week. Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. For your hour of revival here on YLC TV. But also your hour of consecration before you go to the sanctuary tomorrow morning. This is your brother, your friend, Emmanuel De Jesus, the founder of Revivals Ministries. And we're so glad that you were with us tonight. And we hope to see you again next week. God bless you. And remember... There is still power in the name of Jesus. All the other, all the other names fade away. Whatever it is that's taking the place of God, let it fade away in its presence. All the other hey. names fade away. Still there is only. Still there's only. More than all, all the other yeah. names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Come on, break the music right here. Let's let this say. Let all the other names, let all the other names, names fade.